Alrighty folks, so the next thing that we need to be working on down around here, now that we got the chicken coop finished up, is we need to put up a little bit more fence. So this fence is just going to be a very, very temporary fence. Uh, the main purpose of this is going to be to keep my livestock guardian dog within this general area down here near the mill house. So hopefully later this week, I'm gonna be getting chickens moved out here into the coop that we've been working on over the last couple weeks. Now, if I just moved them out here and I didn't have anything keeping an eye on them, uh, we've got bald eagles that show up, we've got black bears, foxes, coyotes, possums, raccoons, all sorts of stuff that would love to have a nice chicken dinner just as much as I do. And so I've got to keep a, a, a guardian dog around here. I've got an Anatolian Shepherd, but the problem is if I don't have a way to keep her right around here near the chickens, uh, she's probably going to go wandering off around the farm. So what we're going to do is I think I want to include the area that's behind the mill house. Whew, that is really washed out, isn't it? Uh, and it's a little bit of a mess. Um, we got some autumn olive and brambles and stuff like that. We got some tree of heaven, but there is a, uh, a three or four strand barbed wire fence that runs all the way through there. So what I'm hoping I can do is we're going to grab a skid steer and we're going to clear out all along that fence get that nice and open up. We may come in here and rip out some of the uh, the other autumn olive and whatnot as well. And then I'll probably come through and run just like a single strand of electric around through there, maybe a foot off the ground. That way she doesn't try slipping through there, make sure there aren't any low spots, anything like that. And then we'll continue that fence on around somewhere over through here. And I'm not entirely sure where I want to put that because I still got to be able to get through here with the truck and stuff like that and be able to get through the uh, the gate that's over there. All right, well, I'm not entirely sure how much of that you guys could see. Uh, the only place I could really find to uh, set you guys up that was out of the way and safe was getting you uh, on, on this T-post here, so that way you were well out of the way, you weren't gonna get run over by the skid steer or something, but I went through and I pretty well cleared out all the way along the fence that goes beside the creek through here. Um, there's still more clearing that I want to get done eventually. There's probably another one or two dozen uh, Tree of Heavens in here, which are an invasive species, and I really want to get those ripped out. I did rip out some of them, which you can see one of them laying down right over here, but there's still a good bit more, and I think there's a few autumn olives. Actually, that right there, that's an autumn olive. want to get those cleared out eventually as well, but 
Uh, for right now, I'm just trying to get the fence line clear. So what I'm going to do next is, because you can only do so much with the skid steer, I've got the, uh, the brush cutter laying on the ground. I'm not sure if you can see it over there. And we're going to uh, walk along the fence line and just really clear out all the stuff along there. That'll let me see if there's any low spots that I need to do something with. Uh, get any of the smaller brush cleared out of there. And then probably, I think it'll have to be tomorrow, maybe we can start uh, stringing a strand of electric all the way around through here. All right, so hopefully by the end of the day, we will have some temporary fence set up here around the mill house. Now, before we start on that, I think what I wanna do is actually take the, uh, the egg and wagon and get it flipped 180 degrees. Because right now, the, uh, the tongue is pointing that direction and we're actually gonna have a, uh, a temporary fence kinda coming right down through here. So if I get the fence in first, it's gonna make it kinda tricky to get hooked up to that to get it heading in a, a different direction so we're just going to go ahead and do that now get it turned around and then we can start setting up some fence All right, so we need to get this back fence kind of mended up as best we can. Uh, it doesn't need to be super nice because it's just sort of a, a temporary thing, uh, but I do need to get this sort of back in working order. Now, for this, I'm gonna do something that I wouldn't ordinarily do, and that is for these broken strands, I'm just going to uh, staple these back into the trees again. Now, typically, I would not, uh, I would not staple stuff into trees and use them as fence posts. But since they've already been used, they've already been kind of messed up in this lower area. It's probably really not going to do any harm to them. So we'll just do this, and uh, we'll make it work. All right, so I think that we are ready to start fencing. And here I got a reel of, I think it's like 17, 17 and a half gauge uh, fence wire. And it's, a, it's just a kind of a light gauge. Uh, the standard stuff that we use for high tensile is 12 and a half. So this is smaller than that. Uh, it's easier to work with. And for temporary stuff like this, it just works really well. So I've got T-post at all the points where there are corners, uh, the uh, little step-in stakes. These don't do very well when you get them in corners. They start bending and trying to tip over, but a T-post is plenty for this stuff. Again, there's not really that much tension on it. It's more just a, a psychological barrier that it's got electricity running through it uh, to keep stuff inside. All right, so I got one strand going down through here. And so now I'm just gonna go through and fill in all the way through with all 
the step-in stakes that I need. Make sure that it's staying nice and tight to the ground all the way around through here. Uh, and then once I get all of these in, uh, I'll start running the rest of the strands. We're going to put four strands of this light stuff around through here. And then I'll be running a single hot strand near the ground going along beside our barbed wire fence. Alrighty folks, so we are jumping ahead a few days here and as you can see we've got chickens out here. I decided not to film it because I was moving them out here late at night that way I was able to pull them off from the roost of the old coop that they were in and then load them into the truck drop them off here so you really wouldn't have been able to see much anyways if I even if I had done it but what we're gonna work on today is that earlier this afternoon I went and cleaned out those coops so we got to get all this wonderful smelling stuff out of the truck we're gonna pile it over here we got that's a chilia She's an Antillian shepherd. She makes sure that the, uh, the bald eagles don't get their, their talons on the chickens. But we're going to pile it up right about where she's laying, which is right near our compost pile. And then we'll bring the, uh, the skid steer inside of our, our temporary fencing in here. We'll get the, uh, the pile of chicken manure and that pile. And there's a little bit of a pile over there to get all that stuff. Uh, scooped up together and mixed up and then after I don't know a couple few weeks that should be pretty well broke down and we can use some of that over on the garden where we need it. stand in front of the camera. No, you can't. You're blocking it. Come on. Move out of the way. Here. There we go. Pearl, you are a pill. Okay, lay down. All right, so eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some stairs coming up here into the coop. But for the time being, what I've done is I've just put a, uh, a little ramp on here. That way it makes it a little bit easier for the, ch put that, for the chickens to be able to get up into here. Now the problem is this is a little bit steep for them and they're having a hard time getting a grip on this. So what we're going to do is I've got some small pieces of scrap wood and we're just going to screw some of these onto here put some little cleats on it so that way it makes it a little bit easier for them to go up on here. You are not helping. No. Yeah, you are right in the way. 
There we go. should make it a little bit better for them. Alrighty folks, so to wrap up this video, we are gonna do our very first move of the egg and wagon with the chickens in it. We got the tractor over here ready to go. We gotta get that hooked up and then we'll just move it ahead probably about one, one length here. We aren't gonna go very far with it. Uh, you can see that underneath there, the, uh, the grass was getting pretty well beat down. They, uh, they like to go underneath there during the heat of the day. It's nice and cool, it's shaded. And of course, while they're under there, they uh, scratch around and stuff like that as well. So it's, it's definitely time to get this thing moved ahead a little bit. Alrighty folks, well with that done, I think that is going to do it for this video. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time.